Today is an exciting video for me to do because I am finally doing a GCSE art walkthrough. I'm just gonna show you guys what I did, even though I'm not that talented, like for real, like I don't even know why I got an A star. How? How? I did pretty good in year nine. In year ten, I did pretty okay, but in year eleven, I kind of struggled because I was really homesick. Like I wanted to go home to Philippines and just, just hug my family because I miss them so much. Warning you guys, I am not the best artist and my sketchbooks are pretty shite, like, like shite, but I'm just gonna show it to you anyways because I'll probably bin them or something. I'll be doing a part one and part two because this video is gonna be a long one. So let's get started. This is my year nine and year 10 sketchbook. Year 9 art, as I still exploring what I like and what I do best, which is mainly acrylic and kind of observational drawings. But what I'm really good at is just basically editing. So I did that for year 11. Year 10, I think that's probably what got me an A star because I did my heart and soul into this book. This is like my Bible. I did pretty bad in this because as you can see it was like beginning of year 9 and it's crap this was what, uh, what I was proud with because as you can see I never burnt the house down because I was trying to create that authentic antique paper look again I base it on the Philippines because you know you gotta represent so I did this which is actually down here but I'm missing some bottles but I don't really need it So this is the year 10 sketchbook, nice, nice, so we, the topic that we had to do was about nursery rhymes, 
this is what I was the most proudest with because like I did a lot in this as well. So we had to research about nursery rhymes and what we wanted. It could either be something positive or negative to link with the nursery rhymes. So I did Tush Little Baby. I did not do Rock Out Baby. I don't even know why I got away with that. But <laughs> it's Hush Little Baby. Pretty darn scary. So I did a little collage. And these were my practices on what should I do for that big project. So I I think I kind of went along with this. And this I wasn't really intentionally going to do because I was just practicing. But this was the main one that I wanted to because it looks creepier. <laughs> so there's like a, a woman trapped in like a headless, headless um, alien looking person. These were the skull, it's like a baby skull. Someone, someone's face, this deformed, deformed face. And this, we had to go and find like a backstory for what I did. So I found the most creepiest thing and I don't even know why this woman did it. A cannibal mum Oh my gosh. A cannibal mum tries to eat her own baby shortly after giving birth. Like why would the woman why would you do that? Then this was present and this was past in the past. In seventeen fifty one. Like like it's it's crazy. It's creepy. To me, this looks like an illusion. It looks like an alien or either a grandma. Can you see? Do you, do you think it's a grandma? To me, it looks like a grandma or like an old lady. Another homework. And this was my final piece. I had to... I found this photo pretty creepy. And I based it on her and I did this. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't see you now. Why is it not focusing? I'll do a more close-up detail. I call this project The Woman. And this freaking took ages. Like I had to do some of like the painting during my lunchtime because I was trying my hardest in year 10. This took probably five months to do and the amount of hours I did this is insane and the second one was about oh dear, about the bride this is called the bride it's about a school and her wedding dress this one was a practice as well. It looks pretty cool. I did a Snapchat filter on a skull. Pretty darn cool. Yes. Then this was, oh, this, I hate this. Oh. Moving on is the fish, which is the most, I think what got me a high grade because I put a lot of effort in this. So I chose groups and it was a group of fish. That this was a mind map or like yeah whatever. I like it, I like it a lot. I did stick in some real ones and what I created by myself. This was surrealism. So yeah, I spelled that wrong. Hurt <laughs> lot. This was another amazing thing I did. Spell. Sardines. I did this was my artist research. I did Daniel Carrier. I'm saying his name. D 
Derek DeYoung, which was, which is an amazing artist. So, go. This is what I really like. But, I like this part. Oh, just a little bit of a Analyzation. Here's another one. It's a fish wearing a shower cap. And my mission was to go find primary sauce. So I went to the deep in the hull and took some pictures. This is actually real photos that I took. Real observational drawing. It's pretty crap. Fish, more fish, experiments. This was the crappy version. This was like a whole page of illustrations of fishes. So, more thingy. I explained why I chose fish. Basically, my dad, he's like obsessed with fish, he likes eating them. <laughs> final piece, I should have put more effort in my final piece page on the sketchbook because I just didn't and it's because I give up. And what pretty much got me an A star, I think, is this. A bloody fish and it's shite. Well, I think it looks cool, but it's a fish, it's got glass, so that's kind of this was dedicated for my dad because he likes fish. So. You're welcome, dad. You're welcome. <laughs>